channel. Tell everybody what we're doing today. Disney Cruise! Our Disney Cruise! Let's go! So as soon as you get to the port, you can get on the Disney Cruise Line Wi-Fi and see your dining rotation before you even check in. I Meredith? Did it. Meredith? And I don't know what is let me guess. Is tonight animators? No. What is it? Tonight is Rapunzel's royal table. <gasps> Eventually, gonna have a meltdown. Tomorrow is Paulo. Tonight is Lumiere's, then Animators, and Rapunzel's, then Lumiere's. Oh, that's a stacked lineup. Here we're in the port. Everybody was super friendly when we were coming in, and it really just gives you that first wave of Disney magic. This is kind of a look at the port. You can see, obviously, it's not gonna be as deluxe as Port Canaveral, but they do have refreshments and restrooms. Plenty of space to make yourself comfortable. We are just getting ready to board. I'm so excited. It is 11.30 and they just started boarding. Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited because we found a friend from the channel, you guys. It's Keisha. Hi, are you so excited to go? I cruise? am ready to go. This is my second Disney cruise. My family's first Disney cruise. Oh my word. But I am so ready. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, drink of the day. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. We love you, Keisha. guys know this feeling the magic of stepping on board and being back on a Disney cruise ship is a feeling unlike any other <laughs> just on another level right now I have been so busy with work that I've not even had time to think about this coming up and now that I'm here it's like hitting me and making me so emotional we're gonna head straight up to Cabanas and get lunch because we're hungry here we go what a high you know we've got to have it. The Disney Cruise Line mac and cheese, chicken tenders. We've got french fries and seafood chicken and gumbo over there. I don't think I've ever seen gumbo in a welcome aboard. And then honey mustard out looks good. We've got some little soda bread here. And then a nice leek and potato soup. You guys know I had to start with the famous DCL mac and cheese, baby. We have grilled salmon steak on pea puree, and we've got panko crusted cod with tartar sauce here, buttered carrots and meatloaf. And then we're gonna get over to our bread service area. So this is just assorted little rolls that look delicious and butter, and they do bake everything in-house on the ship every day. Chicken breast with pico de gallo, one of my absolute favorites, and sticky rice, yum. Let's get some grilled chicken. Corn, water chestnuts, bok choy leeks, red bell pepper, and more french fries. And then on down the line, we've got a pasta station. So we've got plain pasta, tomato sauce, macaroni with assorted sauteed mushrooms and fresh tarragon, and then a pasta with provincial sauce, goat cheese, and spinach dressing. Looks really good. And of course, they're gonna have Parmesan and a little pesto. Here we've got some buttered asparagus. Always gotta get some of that as well as a rosemary lamb chop with mint jelly, delicious mashed potatoes, and also a sirloin steak. And then some of my favorite stuff, great focaccia. Some turkey here and cranberry sauce. We've got snow peas, carrots, and then turkey jus, red wine jus. And then here we actually have a roasted steam ship. Wow, look at that. Have all of our condiments here. We've got ketchup, mustard, mayo, sriracha, olive oil, balsamic, A1, Tabasco. You name it, they've got it. We've got more chicken tenders, mac and cheese, steamed veggies, and french fries. You know I love the chicken tenders, but I'm gonna go out to quick service here in a little bit and get some of that. On down, we've got chicken fried rice and pork chow mein. Yum, bamboo shoots. This looks absolutely delicious. Some cilantro, beautiful dessert stay. We'll come back and get those. Apple crumble, chocolate chip cookies, ice cream. Hi, hi, how are you? Beautiful things in the case here. Jello and the celebration cupcake, a um, chocolate chocolate marquee, carrot cake, and fresh fruit. We've got pecan tartlet, which we all love, the strawberry pot de creme, Oreo cheesecake, fresh fruit salad. We'll do another tasting. Whole other side of Cabana's open that's usually not as crowded as one of the others, but I'm walking over to show you guys our salad station. So over here, we've got nice pre-made salads. We've got a house salad, a grilled chicken, a falafel salad, which I love falafel. We've got hummus, and we've got couscous. And then of course, everybody looks forward to the shrimp and crab legs on day. One. So I ended up with my favorite grilled chicken with pico. I tried a little of the panko crusted cod, the macaroni, couscous, asparagus, and a house salad. I am starving. Let's go eat. 
Hey, we're on board. Can you believe it? Yes. Isn't it so exciting? Someone, look what they gave you. Show everybody. A rose. Somebody gave her a rose made out of a napkin already. Isn't that sweet? Pop, pop. Pop, pop. What did you get for lunch? Bags and cheese and rice. French fries. Chicken. No. Hello. Do you want to do a dessert taste test together in a little bit? Let's. We got one of every single dessert just about that they have. They have dulce de leche ice cream, coconut ice cream, a pecan tartlet, a celebration cupcake, apple strudel, strawberry pot de creme, and a chocolate chip cookie. Now, I am so excited. I remember liking the pecan tartlet in the strawberry pot de creme. So let's do another dessert taste test. Dulce de leche, dulce de leche, however you like to say it or however is correct is absolutely off the chain delicious coconut ice cream really good credit coconut in it the chocolate marquee is good it is absolutely amazing it's what like, can we see it I, i've already like kind of destroyed it can i have so chocolatey so creamy so delicious Boom. Oh, that's so good. It's got a good coconutty taste. It's like, and it's like a nice darker chocolate. To yes. Richer. It's not like overly sweet, but it also has like a good, good flavor. <gasps> now, what did you get, my love? Vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. And how is it? Good. Good. Let's see. Do you want to do a taste test for the people? Mmm. What? How would you just? How would you describe the flavor? Vanilla. -y. Vanilla. -y, sweet. Creamy. Yeah. You heard it here first. Strawberry pot de creme. Mm, just as good as I remember. Desserts on the Magic on the Welcome Aboard are just incredible. I feel like on the bigger ships I didn't find anything I loved like this. All of these have been good. The cookie is good. Apple crumble. Mm, really good. It's exactly like a really nice apple pie without the crust but a really nice crumble on the top. Shockingly good. A little dry, but it has enough icing to make it really delicious. I really like that. Now that I've tried everything, the ice creams are number one. Up at Marquis, the pot de creme is a close third. Celebration cupcake and apple together, and then probably the cookie laughs. We just finished a really good welcome aboard lunch, didn't we? Yeah. What was your favorite thing that you had? Ice she, does, she says, I think I don't have to pick it. I think she's right. The highlights for me were definitely the panko crusted uh, fried cod. That was delicious. The mashed potatoes were unreal. The celebration cupcake. Yeah, the celebration cupcake was really good. You're so right. And then the chicken is always really good with the pico. Now, I was so tempted to get chicken tenders and french fries, but I'm gonna wait to get them by quick service in a little bit. I'm trying, I'm trying. Now I'm out on the deck and I just wanna cry because being back here just feels like coming to a second home. And I just ran into some friends that I met, my friend Izzy, that is here on the Magic, and it just makes me so happy. And look! Look who I'm walking around with back there, Pluto! Pluto, hi! <laughs> All right, we finished an amazing lunch and came up to the deck above Quiet Cove to enjoy some much needed and anticipated relaxation. Bobbity Boutique to take a look because Evangeline's going to have an appointment. What? <gasps> Rapunzel! So if you're new to Disney, they do have Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique where you can come in and get a princess dress and a special hairstyle. So how sweet is that? And Evangeline's going to come in a few days and she's going to vlog it for us. Okay fam, room 7007 on the Disney Magic. Let's go for a room tour. So we just have a standard inside stateroom. And mom, you wanna come on in? Okay. We just have a standard inside stateroom. And I'm gonna start in the back and then work our way to the front. So here the orientation of the bed is a little different than on the dream, the fantasy, or the wish. It's actually in the back portion of the room and you just have a mirror in the back 
You've got these signature Disney Cruise Line lamps with the little Mickey cutouts. You've got plenty of space here for charging a phone. You've got outlets as well. Plenty of nice outlets and storage by the bed. You've got your nice Disney art. Now this does convert into a bed if you want. And then this pulls down into a bunk. The other thing I want to point out, I'm going to try and go slow because I know this makes some people motion sick. We've got a cool Pirates of the Caribbean piece of art and then a little chest of drawers there that's really nice for storage. I like to put my packing cubes in there while I'm here. Underneath the TV where you're going to have all of your Disney entertainment, you do have a fridge. You can keep things in. Plenty of drawers for storage in the vanity and really great lighting for makeup. You can see we've got storage above the television as well. Here's our vanity where we'll be getting ready for dinner every night. You have a full length mirror and a nice hook right there that comes in really handy for toiletry towers or drying clothes. Over here, you see we've got our castaway gifts. So castaway club right now, as of February, 2024, you get a wet dry bag, you get a tote, two lanyards and a beach towel. You got your glasses. And then in here in our closet, We've got a safe that we like to utilize, plenty of hanging storage, a ladder in case you need it for the bunk beds. And then the best thing about Disney Cruise Line, right, is the split bath. So on one side, we have our shower here with our signature Disney Cruise Line toiletries inside. We've got our lotion, a makeup towel, the shower in here with plenty of body wash, con conditioner, and shampoo. And then, on the other side, you've got all your great towels with the, the Disney details, Mickey and the linens, as you can see. And then we have the split bath here. This is the washroom with an additional sink, a tower for storage, a hair dryer. It's a great configuration. And it's gonna be a wonderful vacation. And for our first <laughs> trivia, Disney Tunes trivia, let's go! Trivia so, is hard. Iconic. <laughs> it is really tough. It's Disney well. Tunes trivia, but from like attractions, movies, and whatnot. We lost trivia pretty bad, but there are some tough questions in there. We're gonna try and redeem ourselves with more trivia on this trip. After that, we went and took our bags into the room. I gave you guys the room tour. Came up, got a soda and a few slices of pizza, and have just been relaxing. Now I know normally we are in our swimsuits on day one, but we're in New Orleans and it's a little bit chilly today. I'm about to put on a sweatshirt, but it's still nice just to enjoy this upper deck and be out in the fresh air. Cause even though it's chilly, it's still absolutely lovely. It's almost time for the lifeboat drill and then we'll have to start getting ready for dinner. They're equally good. Pizza, how is it? Yeah. Cheese and margarita, right? Which one did you like, Pop Pop? I like the one with tomato on it. Yeah, margarita. margarita's my favorite. What about you, cheese or margarita? Cheese. cheese. Save. Oh fam, I'm already having such an amazing time. Everybody's at the sail away party. I went up to the sail away party and hung out on the deck for a little bit and watched us leave. But I went ahead to come down to the room because I wanted to go ahead and take some Dramamine since we're starting to move and kind of get settled in. So I'm gonna settle in, get showered, and then get ready for an amazing night. Right now it's 4.40. The show is at six and it's the Rapunzel show. So you know we can't miss that. That is Evangeline's favorite. So I'm going to just get unpacked, get settled in, get cleaned up, and get ready for a magical night. We are all ready. We're going to Rapunzel's Royal Table tonight, but I'm saving my purple outfit because you know we love to match the restaurants. I'm saving my purple outfit for the night we have the dinner show. So tonight I'm wearing this dress from Pink Lily, but I love the feathers. But it's the Rapunzel show tonight and I'm so excited to see it. You're not allowed to film in the show, but we will come back with a recap. I remember this show being super sweet, but I've only seen it once, so I'm really eager to see and enjoy it again.
and it was so cute. There was a few things that I felt like were new this time, like a couple characters that got to do more kind of fun, funny things. And now we're headed into O'Gills and I'm so excited. We're doing 70s music trivia, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they have the snacks in here like they used to. did 70s music trivia. We only lost by two points. Out of how many? Well, we had 30 of 40 points 40, yeah, right. on 70s music. 75% right. Mm -hmm. Dad coming in with the math and statistics. <laughs> and so it was a ton of fun. And now we're going to dinner at Rapunzel's Royal Table. So we finished second overall, right? Yes, okay. second overall. There's no prizes for second, unfortunately. But I guess our prize tonight will be a great dinner. This bread service is off the chain. It's a cilantro creamy kind of dip and just a traditional plain roll, but it is absolutely incredible. We also got to meet our servers, which is always really special. Um, we have Joey and he's from the Philippines and he's just been so sweet. We met him on Cruises Pass, but he's never been our server. And so we're just really excited. That first night feeling, it's just like, can't, can't get better than that. I tried the calamari and it was really, Really, really good. The calamari was tender, it was mild, it was perfectly spiced with the batter, and the aioli it came with was delicious. And I love that it comes with this nice grilled lemon. I squeezed it all over the calamari and it just really elevated it. And then the chicken bastilla was really delicious. So inside there's like a curry, chicken, and veggie mix, and then it's wrapped in a phyllo dough, and it was just kind of described it kind of as like a chicken hot pocket with a really good spice and it came with pickled veggies it was very very nice around the table everybody's happy but the standout of the night amongst the entire table is definitely the calamari it's on deck we've got the chilled mango and papaya soup and the couscous salad all right this chilled mango and papaya soup let's try it mm, really good smooth creamy sweet without being too sweet there's actual chunks of mango in there a little bit of mint delicious it's just like having a smoothie time for the couscous this is nice this is much better than the one on the buffet today the one on the buffet today was a little dry it benefited a little bit of olive oil this one is nice it's really nice it's got some chickpeas cranberries almonds a little hummus some cilantro good stuff we just had our entrees and the entrees thank you so much Joey the entrees were delicious weren't they I got the steak and I think that was the best and then we also got the pasta which was good the sauce was kind of sweet but the grilled shrimp was good spicy it was, it was not a spicy it, dish like they said uh -uh. it was just it was actually very sweet it was really a sweet pasta yeah I think the steak was the winner but you know what I don't think this is our night for like the best entrees this night is all about the dessert desserts. baby desserts on deck and those appetizers were really good how was your dinner ma'am what did you have chicken and fruit chicken and fruit yeah and vegetables and a and oh roasted red potatoes and now are you ready for the dessert your favorite thing of all right what do you think that you'll get for dessert Mother Gothel's cake! No, there was pencil fly and pan. Oh, 
Rapunzel's frying pan. You know what else they have? Mickey bar. Mickey bar, I forgot that. We, I might have to get one of every single dessert. Let's see. having our dessert now and we both got the signature sundae which is a mint chocolate chip sundae. I tried a bunch of the other desserts and I definitely think this one is my favorite and I'm somebody that used to never get the sundaes. I was Don't missing. Don't sleep on the sun. Don't sleep on the sundae. Don't you think it's the best one? It is so stupidly good and it's a sundae but it is so good. How's the toffee? Is it, does it hold up to Enchanted Garden toffee? I think so. I thought it was really good. Okay. I enjoyed it. I, this is really good. The creme brulee is like a Kahlua creme brulee is good. Um, but that Sunday. Huh? This is our towel animal. They still have these little gold wrapped sweets. Um, I still miss the classic sleepy chocolates, but this is so cool. Look how awesome this is. And the boys got a frog. This is so cute. It's like the last little bit of Disney magic in the day. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. I also just met some of the sweetest subscribers in the dining room, the Cox family. Thank you guys so much for coming up and saying hi. You guys, everybody has come up and said hello today. You've absolutely made my day. Um, and I just want to say, if you see us on vacation, please come say hi. We love it. It makes our day. We love to meet you all. Okay, let's get ready for bed and do a little debrief. Okay, fam, that was an awesome day. Let me think about the highlights. The Welcome Aboard Buffet is always just such a treat. And I truly feel that the food quality on the Magic is better than what I've experienced on other ships. I don't know if it's smaller and more contained or if it's just that I had a long gap in going on a cruise and I've forgotten how good everything really was. But that pico de gallo and the chicken, the cod, those mashed potatoes were all delicious. And then it was really interesting to have a day where we weren't in the water and in the pool, but kind of, you know, we went and played trivia and then laid out on the chairs and just kind of took in, you know, the Mississippi River. And that was really nice. We had so much fun at the show. And then at 70s Music Trivia, I'm thinking we're going to get lucky tomorrow. I think that tomorrow we may start getting on a kick. And dinner was so great. It's always nice to meet your servers and they, we have a really, really sweet team. And um, Joey is, is our server and he's just was absolutely lovely. And dinner was delicious. And I think that's really saying something because it's kind of like on the first night of a five night, every single restaurant serves the same menu. So you're not getting a unique menu. It's, it's, there's menus that are unique to each restaurant, but there's only three of those on each ship. So other menus are ones that the cruise has prepared that everyone eats across the board. And I find those to generally be weaker um, as we could, I think the food is amazing. Um, and I say weaker, it's just because the standard menus in the restaurants are just so good. And tonight it was great. We had everything that we had was great. That calamari really jumps out at me as one of the best things. And now we're getting in bed. It's about gosh it's almost midnight actually and we want to be up and at them early to get some breakfast and then who knows what else we'll get into we got a day at sea tomorrow thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video i love you all and i can't wait to see you right back here tomorrow bye